is Death from Above. Use the smell ability to highlight nearby hunters and wildlife. Melee attacks are effective at close range and while in the air. Eat to gain armor and evolve. Kraken can climb almost any surface. Use Air Burst to travel faster. This ability recharges over time. Kraken will fly towards the direction you're moving. Lightning Strike unleashes a powerful electrical blast. Banshee Mines are great for ambushes and homing on nearby targets. Aftershock deals heavy damage to any nearby targets. Vortex pushes hunters away while dealing damage.
come you're always in such a good mood before we drop, Hank? Ain't no use stressing yourself out, darling. Yes, this moment is no place for worry. Still, I might be a little worried if I was about to fight a two-story killing machine and my only armor was a beard you could lose a sandwich in. Well, great. Now I am a little worried. Thanks for that, pal. Happy to help. Ain't this a cute? Thank you. He would not let go.
I think perhaps we should try the revivifier on a dead monster. Bring it back to the ship. Study our living specimen. I thought Mr. Parnell said no using your glove thing on dead monsters. Oh, do you know about that? If you are worried about us telling on you, do not be. Because if you bring a dead monster back to ship, bring it back to life, there will be no need to tell anyone anything. Fine. Such limited imagination. Ah, the healing field is ready! Has 
evolved. Station. 
Sheer exports a lot of wildlife. Well, she's worth her weight in gold, the way she zeroes in on the monster like that. This isn't the first time to monsters. Kraken's here! Big gun's still charging! has a small pool of health and armor and cannot stay in battle for extended periods of time. Hit and run tactics must be employed. Sneak often when outside of combat. The Wraith's small silhouette and low profile during stealth mode allow for a lot of successful sneaking. Warp in and out of sight during combat. Use your abilities to confuse the enemy. Warp Blast deals heavy damage and is easy to use. It's great for hunting and fighting. Supernova is a great counter to the mobile arena, provided you have some armor to fight. If hunters escape the shroud, you can use abduction to bring them back. Not only is decoy a great escape mechanic, it is also a powerful stealth pounce enabler. When out of line of sight, Trigger the decoy, then move into stealth pounce position and pounce a lone hunter while their teammates are busy with the decoy. Use stealth mode to hide your tracks and sneak by flocks of birds. You move slowly while sneaking, so make sure there's distance between you and your pursuers before entering stealth mode. Confuse the hunters by leaving tracks in one direction, then sneaking in another direction. Lone hunters are vulnerable to your pounce ability. To pounce, use your melee attack while in stealth mode. A pounce target cannot escape unless one of their teammates shoots you off. Fire breath can be used to reveal cloaked hunters or finish off fleeing targets. Hold down the rock throw button to fake out a hunter. Wait for them to waste jetpack fuel dodging, then greet them with a rock. Armor can be easily regenerated, health can't. If you lose all of your armor in combat, consider disengaging to find wildlife. Get extra distance out of your leaps by jumping off of tall objects. Learn to combo your abilities. For example, leap smash into a target 
then immediately capitalize with charge attack. If you hold the climb button while looking at any surface, the crosshair will change shape, indicating if a surface is climbable. as much as possible. It's the most powerful weapon in your arsenal. When the battery runs out, start deploying arc mines. Arc mines should be hidden out of sight, in bushes or at the tops of cliffs. However, during combat, place your arc mines in the open for teammates to retreat to if they're in trouble. Switch to your assault rifle while you are trying to get close enough to use the lightning gun. Don't trigger your personal shield too early. Your medic can heal you back to full health while you're shielded, so don't be afraid to take a few hits before activating it. You can still trigger your personal shield after being in-capped. Use it to keep the monster from finishing you off and give your medic a chance to get you back on your feet. most of your super soldier ability. Trigger it in open areas where you have clear line of sight and plenty of room to dodge around. Try not to get knocked down as you'll lose valuable seconds recovering instead of dealing damage. Remember that your super soldier ability comes at the cost of some of your own health. Pair up with a good medic. Get up close with the combat shotgun and when out of range, switch to the multi-fire rocket launcher while repositioning. Assault to get the most benefit out of the damage amplifier. When Assault can't engage, switch to your Rail Cannon and deliver the damage personally. The Rail Cannon can deliver reduced damage when shooting through walls. Use this in combination with Dust Tagging to attack the target without being seen. If the monster is suspected to be nearby, Dust Tag and find out. If timed properly, dust tagging can be dropped in front of a monster's path. In combat, shielding your team is more important than dealing damage. The shield projector's battery will not recharge if it's being used. Pull the trigger only when a teammate is about to take damage, so the battery starts recharging sooner. The shield projector has considerable range. Try to get up high and protect your teammates from afar. The orbital barrage can be used defensively to force the monster away from an object or a downed hunter. The laser cutter is extremely accurate, Go for headshots or holes in the monster's armor. Use your cloak to protect your team. In-capped hunters and high-value targets, like your medic, can benefit from a well-timed cloak. 